Hey guys, Joshua with Victory Installers channel. Um, this is part four, and all I'm going to do is this is just checking your time, guys, making sure that everything that you've done all the way through, making sure that your cams are installed um, on both sides. Got your rear, which has to be time first, your front, which is time second. And what we're going to do here is I got my dad, and what we're going to do is this is how you actually can turn and rotate the engine. This is what we were talking about. You can actually turn it, but make sure you're going counterclockwise to keep it on time because we're on the opposite side. So right now you can kind of see where our front rears are he, while he's rotating it. So go ahead and turn it. I'll go a little bit more. It does help having two people. So stop, keep going a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. And right about there. So you can see right now here, we got those two lines. And if you kind of duck down, you can see they're pretty close. So what you should have then when you get over to the front cylinder, see your timing marks here? Go ahead and spin it just a hair, it pops. Done, right there. So you're pretty level. And right here, you can see your rear is on time. So now you know that 100% your engine is on time and ready to go. You want to rotate it a couple times, make sure everything spins freely. And another little thing I'm going to show you here is, here's all those bolts. Make sure all of these 100 inch pounds. And underneath here, you can see there's a little bit of a hole. And it's kind of hard to see here, but when you do your dowel, you can see right here, there's your key pointing to the front. Your front top dead center just about, and that's where your dowel rod will go. There's a little hole inside of there. So actually what I'll do is, go ahead and spin that again. Go ahead and keep going. So in there, you'll see that there's going to be a little hole that pops up right about there. We spun a little bit past it, but it's going to move then to here. Let's go real nice and easy. There's that little hole that just peeked up on us right there. That actually is the front top dead center. So like I said, when the dowel, you can slide it all the way into here in the crank. Top dead center. So here, facing the front, front top dead center. When it's here on this one, that's the rear. That little keyhole will point to the rear cylinder. The rear cylinder is on top dead center. So hopefully this all helps, guys. And thank you again, like I said, for watching. If you guys got any questions, be sure to let me know. And um, yeah, please subscribe. Thanks, guys.